Well, I've had all my surgeries with him. Actually, I did my top surgery with him and I was really happy with it. Yeah, the sensation is much better now after stage two. Much, much better. So they did. So they must have done some nerve hookup. Your name is Alexander, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Hi, so I am Dimi, as Dimitri. You were in Serbia with Djurjevic, is that right? For your follow up Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. I would like to talk to you about that, about your surgeries, if you're happy with them, how the procedure went. Mm -hmm. And I am more than glad to share you my story. I think it's really, really valuable to see all different stories from different perspectives, from different surgeons and countries. Uh, because as I see it so far is that it looks kind of one-sided. Like I live in Germany and the information I gather from other German uh, trans men is from German surgeons and, you know, like uh, the American surgeons seem to be different. Yes. And especially the Serb Serbia, I don't know. And I'm sure you will tell me. Serbia seems to be like the place where it all started. So it must be a place where it's perfect, <laughs> or at least the most experience is there. Just maybe tell me a little bit about um, the procedure and the doctor and your experience. Okay. Okay. Well, I've had all my surgeries with him. Actually, I did my top surgery with him and mm -hmm. I was really happy with it. Um, then later he did my histo and I was really happy. Um, and I decided to go for phalloplasty later because in Serbia, um, top surgery is covered by our health system. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's histo, but phalloplasty is not. So uh -huh. I had to save up some money to get it. So first I went and got metoidioplasty with him, um, which that was also I was not, not really happy about. Uh, metoidioplasty is covered. It's covered. Um, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't really happy with it because it's small and I really didn't have like a se sexual function that I wanted to have. Mm. Um, so I decided to go for phalloplasty mm -hmm. two years later when I sa saved up some money. Um, and I was actually doing some research, mm -hmm. um, looking at other surgeons to find like the best option for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I also, I was checking out a surgeon, um, in your country, actually in Germany who did, mm -hmm. who did the, uh, the RFF fellow. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't find any like people who went to him or any results or pictures or anything. So I just decided to go with my surgeon because mm -hmm. I knew people who went to him and I talked to some of his previous patients. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it was really hard to find someone who like was willing to share their yeah. whole experience and everything. I know. Um, but I, yeah, but I did find a couple of guys, um, and they were really like happy with results and everything. So I just decided to go with him and I went to my initial consult, I think, um, in October of 2000, 2019, mm -hmm. um, I talked to him and, um, we scheduled my surgery. Like we were the things he, he was saying and the things that I wanted from the surgery was like the same thing. Oh, um, wow. we were really, yeah. Great. Yeah. We were really on the same, on the same boat. Um, yeah. so I decided to schedule my surgery right away and I mm -hmm. had my fellow, my first stage with him in, uh, March, 2020. Um, okay. Well, nice. Yeah, that's, when, that's so funny because mine when was the also pandemic started. 2020 in my, yeah, yeah. When the, when the pandemic started. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And my first stage actually went really well. Um, she was really happy with how it went. So was I. Well, mm -hmm. the only the only problem was I couldn't go to checkups and everything because the coronavirus and everything. So yeah. um, how we did it, like I took pictures every day and I sent to him on, oh. on Viber. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So but that's, when it was time to cool that my... he was available and that he gave yeah, you this yeah, option. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, and, and all his fellow surgeons like did the same thing. And when it was time to remove my cat, they're like they were like, Oh, well, you can do it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did it by yeah, and I had to do it by myself. <laughs> but life? But it, what, it was, was he on the other end or yeah, 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 yeah. Life, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah. It, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, oh it, it wasn't bad. It was just like slightly uncomfortable, but I did it. <laughs> was it a pubic so, yeah. catheter or or a phallic catheter? 
uh, a folly, the one that w went through my meta oh, that okay. I had previously. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So actually, I, I do have some questions about the procedures okay. themselves. Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. So where does he take his flap? What's the donor side? Okay. Uh, from my back, from my latissimus muscle ah, on the back. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's what I. Sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mention that. No problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that that he is um, uh, exactly the master of that uh, region. Yeah, right. And um, so, um, are you maybe willing to share some some uh, pictures? You can send them to me, mm -hmm. maybe if you want. Okay. I can. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. I can add them and, and screen them uh, mm -hmm. right away when we speak. So okay. can you say something about your scars? How big are they? And mm -hmm. do you have any problems with them now? Um, for the first like five days in the hospital, it was all wrapped up on that right side. Um, mm -hmm. He took, yeah, he took from my right side because I'm left-handed. Um, mm -hmm. And it was like for the first week, it was really tight. Like mm -hmm. I, I had a feeling like they put the bandages too tight and mm -hmm. they were like, no, that's the incision. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah, they they put like those surgical staples on it. Uh -huh. um, I, I will send you the picture so you will yeah, see. Okay. Like for yeah. the first for the first week or so, it was really painful. Um, mm -hmm. But in the hospital, it was great because they managed with with like pain meds really well. Uh, um, but yeah, were you laying on your back? Uh, yeah, yeah. But it was like was more okay. more on the side. Yeah, it was like uh -huh. more on the side, so it wasn't a problem. Um, and that and was okay with your all, phalloplasty as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now yeah. it's all good. It healed up after like three months. Um, I was right. cleared for the gym after like eight, nine weeks. So it was all it was all good by the, by that time. Yeah, nine weeks. That's like two months and a month. Uh, yeah, and two weeks. two and a half months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fast. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't and expect to be recovered so fast. Yeah. So and um, okay, and then um, so your phalloplasty. Did it already have the urethral lengthening or not? Uh, no. Well, okay. he usually does it in first stage, but for me, we decided not to go for like urethra in first stage because when I did my metoidioplasty, I had like a fistula and some problems with it. Ah. So he, yeah, he suggested we wait for the second mm -hmm. stage to do my urethra. And that's when, oh, we, okay. when we did it. Yeah. And yeah. that's why you had your catheter in your meter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I have picture. Cool. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. okay. And then how how many days did you have to lay uh, just after the surgery on your back, not standing up? Uh, I I think it was like four or maybe five. No, it was five days. Uh -huh. I stood up after five days. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same in Germany, and I hear from the states that they like have to get up already on the I think third day. I think okay. it's too fast for like yeah yeah that's my crazy standing, but mm -hmm. yeah laying on the back was my yeah. like biggest biggest issue <laughs> yeah totally yeah 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 Same yeah here. so okay yeah that was a stage one and then um stage two what was that and when was that uh, stage two i had in january this year um he did urethra and he did my glands plasty and he mm -hmm. did the uh, like yeah, and he put the uh, little meta meta dick inside, yeah, uh -huh. inside the fellow. Yeah, yeah. Did he just uh, dig it inside, or did did he do some nerve connections? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but now it's inside. Yeah, it's inside. Uh, but do you have any any feeling in your penis, in the big one? Yeah, yeah, I do. The only the only part where I don't have feeling sensation is like the the tip. Where the tip is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it means, did you have any feeling before the meta uh, penis went mm -hmm. inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the meta did. had like the full full sensation like I did before surgery. Yeah. Um, I mean, but but the big one, the big penis, did it have okay. any feeling before the oh, small one? Be, before he put it inside. Yeah. Yeah, it did, but only only at the like at the base baseline. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And then after this uh, surgery, when the small one went into inside, mm -hmm. you had a feeling in the big one. Yeah, yeah. The sensation is much better now after stage two. Much, much better. So they did. So they must have done some nerve hookup. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. some nerve connection. Hookup, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it also means uh, that in the donor flap, they took mm -hmm. not only the um, uh, not only the vessels, uh, but also a nerve or nerves. Also nerve, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, wow. That's amazing because, as far as I know, in Russia, for example, they don't uh, take mm -hmm. a nerve from the back. Or if they do, oh, okay. then they take actually some muscle. Actually, did they take some muscle with you in your case? Yeah, he took like skin, muscle, and and the nerve from my back. Uh huh. So it means that the phallus itself has a lot of or quite girth, some some thickness yeah. because of the muscle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How is the erection going to work? Is there some connection to the muscle of the leg, for example, which is another possibility, or is there going to going to be, or is there maybe now already an erectile device? Device. Uh, no, for erection, I would have to get the, erect the erectile device, but for uh -huh. now, I'm not really sure which one do I want. Mm -hmm. I haven't really discussed it with him yet. I'm planning on. I'm planning on doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, until now, you had two stages. Yeah, yeah, two stages, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, and how about the uh, testicles? Did you have them already uh, in your previous surgery with Meta? Uh, no, I decided not to go for testicles because when he does Meta, he, he puts like the, the testicles that are too small for fellow later. Mm. So ah. I will probably get them in my in my next stage, yeah, when I ah. get the erectile device. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you happy with the with the size, with the looks, with the function so far, with the feeling? I am. I am. I really, really am. That's really nice. My own thoughts about that flap from the back were uh, when I also like had to decide which doctor do you want to want to take, uh, etc. I did consider um, uh, your doctor, but I thought one the scars might be very big. Uh, across my whole back, basically. And the other was, my, my concern was that the, the penis would be too thick and too big. Do you have that uh, feeling? Or is well, it is for the it scar, yeah. The scar is not, it's not on the whole back. I'll send you some pics so you'll see. It's yeah. like yeah. more more on the side, like it looks like a, a starfish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. As far as the penis goes, it's it's not too thick. It's like a normal normal thickness mm -hmm. for me. That's really cool because um, I think that if you take uh, the RFF, which is in my case, mm. yeah, our mm -hmm. radial forearm flap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the big the scar, the size of the scar. In my case, at okay. least this side is all um, normal skin, and the scar is yeah, just yeah, yeah. here. Because mm -hmm. I had not the tube in tube method, but the um, prelimination method, where they okay. had to pre prepare uh, the um, urethra here up front, okay. and they took some skin from somewhere else um, mm -hmm. and put it here, and I had I had to carry it in my arm for uh, half a year or nine months. Oh wow! And, How was uh, that? that? That was okay. That was really okay, actually. Um, okay. I thought it would be um, somehow disturbing for sports activities or, yeah. so, or so, but it was fine. Just in the beginning, it was a bit uh, concerning because I wasn't sure if I'm going to be able to you know, clean it with one hand, with my left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right-handed, but I chose uh, this arm still, the right one, mm -hmm. because of the veins, because here I have no visible veins. And here I oh, do. Okay. okay, you can't see it, but here is. Yeah, one. yeah, I can see. It's very important for okay. me because if I have to give blood, uh, blood yeah. test or something, or for whatever else, there must be a vein which they could use. And if they took this mm -hmm. the, the, this flap, they would have taken yeah, probably cool. this vein as well. And I thought, no, I'm not. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, that's so, reasonable. Yeah. What I see right now, the result. With RFF, in most cases, especially in people who are not big like myself, that mm -hmm. it's just skin, and that there is yeah. not much girth to the penis mm -hmm. itself, without any erectile device. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think 
with the alt procedure where with the take the, the the leg skin or with the um, how do they call your procedure the back the mld phalloplasty mld exactly yeah thank you yeah yeah, yeah. mld there they take underlying tissue and uh, also the muscle which is um yeah, yeah that would be my question actually when they take the leg skin they take also the underlying tissue, which is fat. They don't normally take muscle, as far as I know. And still, the results that I saw, they were so, um, yeah, massive, really. Like, they looked like there is this comparison. Maybe you heard of it. Uh, a can, you know, like Coke yeah. can or beer. <laughs> I'm sure it differs from result to result and from man to man because... Yeah. Maybe at some people it just it just fits them that size and the thickness is just perfect for them. Compare like you have to always see the, the length and the girth together. But in my case, I thought it probably wouldn't fit me. But if they take the underlying fat tissue and the muscle, isn't it done then uh, even bigger? Hmm. Well, that's the the ALT method, right? For the leg. ALT is without muscle. It's just uh, yeah, the yeah, underlying yeah, yeah. fat. It's just a, and okay. Mm -hmm. and I think they MRT. have some like when they when they take from from the back, they have some technique where they like shrink the muscle so it doesn't mm -hmm. get like too too bulky, too, too, too fat. Big, yeah, too bulky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in the second stage, you had your urethra and the glands. Yeah. 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 How was that? Did you have any complications? Uh, no, I didn't. The second stage was actually much, much like I recovered much, much quickly. It was much easier. I had only mm. one night at the hospital. Like it mm. was much easier than the first stage. Mm. Really? Wow. Yeah. So you didn't have any fistula, any strictures? No, no nothing. Nice. So far. <laughs> so far. Well, I think until yeah. now, if you didn't have any, uh, there shouldn't be yeah, problems. Yeah. Unless there is something with the, uh, erectile implant yeah incredible i i think it's really great uh, that you share your story and i saw you have you are very open on instagram so your next stage would be uh, the erectile implant or implants yes mm -hmm. yes i'm hoping to have it like beginning of the next year maybe okay uh, does yeah. that is that covered by insurance uh no it's not Feloplast is not covered at all and nothing, uh, nothing yeah. which uh, goes with it, no rectal implants. Nothing. It's a bummer, yeah. of course. However, in Serbia, it's probably a little bit uh, less expensive than uh, in other European countries or in the States, I guess. Can yeah. you name for, any numbers? For, for my first stage, I paid around 18,000 18, euros per stage. Okay, 18,000 yeah. euros. That is... Uh, Okay, I, I wanted to say that it's much cheaper than in Germany, but I don't really know. I, will, I would have to see the complete price. Yeah, so the price is, how yeah. much is the second stage? The second was around eight, eight and a half thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it is cheaper. So it's yeah. 18 plus eight, so it's 26 so far. And then yeah. the rectal implant, do you know the price there? I don't know yet. I have to, I have to go see him. So he'll tell me. And I think in Germany it is about ten thousand and maybe even a bit more. So if in Serbia it's sort of the same, it you, it still would be somewhere around thirty six thousand or even forty thousand. Yeah. It would be still like a uh, half the price, which is in Germany. Yeah. But uh, we are lucky. Uh, it is covered in Germany by the insurance. Oh. You, you have great. to do a lot of paperwork with them, but they do pay then. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a relief, yeah. It is, yeah, totally. But I think we don't have the option with the MLD. I don't know any surgeon who yeah. does that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, do you have any thoughts about the erectile implant? How? Yeah, I've been thinking you... about the, like, yeah, the semi, the semi rigid one. That's the one that I wanted initially, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think. Actually, I've been uh, thinking between uh, back and forth between uh, the semi-rigid and the inflatable. And finally, I did decide for the inflatable because I, 
I mm. thought that there will be, I will have more choices of how to position it. I would have, I would be able to, yeah. for example, partly inflate the cylinder or cylinders mm -hmm. and would have the girth I want uh, for the everyday life and the mm -hmm. bulge, basically, which I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, would, I could like choose the, ch the size, basically. I, I wouldn't be able to do that with the semi rigid, but now I have two. Mis mishaps basically uh, with the erectile implants i had two attempts which didn't go well and before i undergo a next another attempt i want to do some more research and i was thinking yeah. uh, about semi-rigid implants do you have any thoughts on which one you want because there are i think like three or four which okay. are kind of common yeah, I haven't really done any research now. I, mm. I just wanted to like first go and see him, see what he would recommend. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll take it from there. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, stay in touch. I would be really interested sure. in, in seeing um, how you go on and what your experience is. And do you have other, you, you mentioned that you know some other trans men who had surgeries yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, at the same clinic. Are you still in contact with them? I am with some of them, yeah. Okay, and, and do you have anybody so, uh, who uh, has also the semi-rigid implant and are happy? Uh, I don't know yet. Ah, you don't know, okay. It's yeah, I only know people who went to like first and second stage mm -hmm. for now. And are they all happy like you are? Well, yeah, they are, but some of them had some complications like some infections yeah. and so stuff like that yeah but nothing major i keep hearing that the main complications are or have to do either with the urethra or yeah uh, in later stages with the erectile device thank you very much for sharing it's so it's 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 just incredible you're the first person i speak to who who were who had his surgery in serbia so it's yeah cool. not many people are open to share yeah unfortunately yeah it's, it's probably it's probably because of your country's uh, politics, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Are you also open in your surrounding, like with your friends and yeah. everybody? I yeah, I am I'm, like pub publicly outed. So yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, how how did people take it? Did you have any problems, like any you know, like transphobia? Well, so far, so good. I had some problems at my college because I, I go to med school, actually. So oh. my colleagues weren't really like into the whole thing, but it's okay now. Okay, cool. How, how long yeah. are you on T, actually? Uh, four and a half years. Oh, okay. You look amazing. Great beard. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Alexander, thank you so much for uh, for sharing your story. And um, maybe if you yeah, want, sure. uh, we could like have uh, you know like an Instagram live someday with a Q and A or something okay. after this video. Yeah, I'm done for that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. Sure. So we'll see what right. uh, the comments are and uh, if people want it. If the, if yes, then we will arrange something. All right. Awesome. All right. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. See you. Thanks. Bye bye.